Hi everybody, this is DIY Graphic Design. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a logo in Inkscape. Before you start designing your logo, the most important thing is to find out what is your logo going to be about. So to define a theme. After you define the theme for your logo, you should look for simple symbols that would represent the theme. Once your logo is done, it should be simple and ideally it should communicate the core message. So in this tutorial, I'll show you how to make a simple logo for catering business. So the theme of my logo is food and food preparation. So the symbol I'll be using for this logo is chef's hat. In addition, I'm going to have the name of the company and then the word catering. Everything will be unified with the black circle that will be in the background. So this is my uh, basic document here. I'm going to add a new layer. And I'm going to go to File and Import and I'm going to import a reference image, a hat that I previously made. So this will be just a reference image. So right now I'm, I'm on my layer one. I'm going to decrease opacity. I'm going to lock my layer so that I can work independently on another layer. So I'm going to create a new layer, name and number two. And now I'm going to zoom in. So I have bigger image of this hat. And now with my shape tool, I'm going to draw around and create the head based on this reference image. I'm speeding up here a little bit so that you're not bored, but you'll be able to see how I work through this. So here I'm creating layer number three. So I'm primarily working with this shape tool. I'm adjusting my nods. And by, by adjusting nods, I can get the specific shape I want. So for right now, I'm just creating an outline of my hat. And this outline will be filled with color later on. I'm creating layer number four here. I'm going to create stripe. And now I will fill everything with color. And I'm going to group everything. And now when I compare it to the reference image, I can see that it looks almost exactly the same. I'm going to delete my reference image. And now I can start working on my type. So I'm going to create a new layer, layer number five. And then I will type my name, pick the font that I like resize it and I'm going to create another layer and create word catering here position it and in addition I'm going to create letters G and C that will be right beneath my hat and I'm going to position everything so that I create a nice relationship here And now I'm going to create a circle on a new layer, layer number seven. I have to drop this layer all the way down. So I'm going to click on this green arrow. And so now my layer is all the way down. I'm going to lock all the layers except the bottom layer. And then with the circle tool, I'm going to create a round shape. And now I'm going to reverse the color of my logo. So everything that's black will be white and everything that's white will be black. I'm going to create layer number eight. In this layer, I'm going to create a thin line, like a ring that will be placed on the top of black round 
circle and I'm going to shut off the fill color and I'm going to turn on my stroke and then I'm going to color the stroke to be white and and then from here I have to micro adjust and position everything so the relationship of all of the elements is correct Thank you.